is the Brains Trust, introduced by the question master, answering any questions. All right, just one one week to go till finals footy. Lads are back. We're at the we're at the business end now. So uh, just like the the footy teams, we're uh, we're right in the thick of it, hitting it, hitting our straps at the right time of the season. So. Bryce and Jeremy are back for another week. We've got a special guest on tonight. We thought we've uh, we've only really dug into the Galbraith Shield in terms of guests so far. So we've gone to the X Super Shield and we've found uh, Sammy Brain from Midlands. Sammy, good to have you on, mate. Good to be here, mate. Thanks for having me. Nah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Obviously, uh, you Midlands boys just quickly uh, got that home final locked in with a week to play. Must be a pretty good feeling out at Winton. Yeah, I, I suppose it is. Yeah, boy, um, I guess the town's pretty excited about it. I suppose, and everything sort of going on. I guess well, we're not, yeah, we're not exactly relaxing this week, but it was good to have that in the bag. I suppose, yeah, yeah, mate. And uh, just quickly, obviously, it was a pretty massive day on Friday for the uh, buy a brick. Uh, I guess with Blair's, uh, Blair's appeal and all the great work him and his uh, wife Melissa have done. So it would have been pretty cool for that weekend. Um, I guess you guys sealing that final that weekend. I guess. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fitting, isn't it? Like, um, yeah, just the yeah, hard work that sort of what Blair did when he was alive, and then and this is carrying on. You know, it's 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 massive for Southland all, and I guess Southland and the Southern region all together, I suppose. So, no, nah, it's pretty good. Yeah, mate. And uh, we'll, we'll get into the game shortly, but just quickly, how truncated our compacted season? How's the body feeling? Oh, pretty good. I, um, yeah, there's a lot of niggles around. Um, our oh, body's yeah, body's never sort of this great at this time of the season. But um, yeah, there's a lot of sort. Of, I guess it's the same for everyone, and that it's a lot of sore yeah. bodies and a lot of people yeah. playing games and storm weeks and stuff doesn't really help it. But yeah, as well, we, we only had right. one compared to yours too. So uh. yeah, happy days, Jeremy. How are you, mate? It's a uh, tough loss. Uh, for the Maris boys on Saturday, uh, how's morale personally? And uh, you have a good night Saturday? Back to Waxies? Um, yeah, the um, personally morale's <laughs> not too bad. Obviously, it yeah. takes a while to get over a loss like that, especially how important it was. It was pretty disappointing from a collective and, I guess, individual point of view to lose that. But uh, the boys went and had a few beers on Saturday night and um, as per made ways to Waxies, where there was probably at least five or six other club teams there so so it was bloody good but yeah still yeah. disappointed to lose that one yeah I would think uh this weekend could potentially be a huge one at Waxies when you've got uh four, four teams in each grade bowing out um could could be a few loose uh loose carries around Waxies <laughs> and Tillemans come Saturday night oh I'd imagine so and that'll usually <laughs> spill into a Sunday doesn't it so uh she's all go this weekend for, for a few, few teams yeah, keep keep your eyes peeled if you're out on Sunday. I think there could be a few uh, <laughs> few rugby clubs uh, full of shenanigans, but we'll we'll go there later on. Brycey, catch a bit of footage, mate. I understand you had a big weekend uh, with a with a uh, one Ben McCurcher. Yeah, bloody good weekend in London, mate. Sent uh, McCurch and uh, Josie back home in style. Uh, a bit worse for wear Monday into Tuesday into a little bit of Wednesday, but coming right, coming right. You wouldn't have got through much footage there, mate. You wouldn't have uh, watched too much of the... Uh, no, mate. I'd never stop. I'd never stop. Got through yeah. a bit. Just, <laughs> just a quick question. Is is Kirch doing his quarantine in time for the final? Like, Is he available for selection? <laughs> where, where does uh, he sit there? Yeah, we discussed that at length after probably one or two many pints. And I was telling him he doesn't have a spot there. That, <laughs> that Jack Keys is too good. Yeah, two days <laughs> or two it. weeks. He didn't rate it. He didn't rate it. <laughs> nah, it's good stuff. Be good to see him back in the country. Right, we'll crank straight into it. We thought we might start tonight uh, since Sammy's on. We'll go. We'll start with the X Sopa. Um, she's become a three-horse race after Saturday. So, three games played. Um, I guess we'll start. We might start at Riversdale, which was the first game. I guess um, a battle for I guess fifth and sixth sort of place there. Um, Riversdale fifteen nine. So I'm guessing it was an absolute arm wrestle out at uh, the Riversdale number one. Did we uh, get an indication of that one, fellas? I believe there was no video of that, but uh, can imagine it was a tight tussle, judging by the score. Uh, no, no, I didn't. 
no video. I did obviously why Kaka could pick up another bonus point. I think they've probably got as many bonus <coughs> points as flag points now, but um, yeah, that's always his pretty big game. It was 15 9, so yeah, I didn't actually hear bugger all about that, to be honest. Sammy, you wouldn't have picked up too much on that, or no, nah, but I'd nothing not, of no. playing against him. You're playing against him, you know, he's sort of two similar style of plays, I suppose, in terms of like quite forward orientated, a lot around the corner sort of stuff. But um, yeah, no, I can't, yeah, it sort of could have gone either way that one, I suppose, but yeah, yeah. Riversdale, Riversdale, well, both, both, both of them have been strong though, so good on them, yeah. So, yeah, good win for Riversdale there, gets them up to fourth place actually, gives them a wee buffer ahead of uh. Wyndham, um, who have dropped down to, to fifth place. So Waikaka uh, back on 10 points. Looks like uh, they might be well consigned to the spoon, um, unless they can pick up five points on Saturday. But, um, yeah, Wyndham back there on 14, Riversdale on 18. Uh, fortunately, those three teams all are out of the action. But I guess uh, the second game, which was a pretty crucial game, I guess, for you boys, Sammy, at Winton, you took on Wyndham, who had tipped you up. Um, tipped you up earlier in the season out at Wyndham. Um, so you boys got it done, 25 points to 12. So a pretty good win there. Um, would have been good to to get the W over the Wyndham boys. Always a hard game against them. Yeah. Yeah. They, um, well, to be like, over the, I was talking to one of the, I think the club captain, I think Logan McClellan on Saturday night. And he was saying that they haven't missed a final since about, 2013 so yeah I guess they've in terms of like what's that last seven years they've sort of been the benchmark I suppose and always yeah. yeah so as long as I've been playing anyway it's been it's been good to always get one over them I've only ever beaten them three times I think so yeah um yeah like we yeah they toes us up midwell midway through the first round or whatever over there but it's a pretty tough place to go play over Wyndham. The grass is about bloody six inches long. And, <laughs> yeah. 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 But, um, no. Tough, tough yeah. crowd on the sideline too, isn't it? Yeah, they get pretty oh, vocal, yeah. don't they? Yeah, a few sprays here and there, but never hurt anyone, <laughs> though. Yeah, uh, it's it. Bro, um, bro, I see your eyes, you catch any of that game? I've only, to be fair, only seen the try highlights. What's see if Ross might be able to touch. Uh, same as me, here. same as me. They were good tries, though. That first one was... Yeah. Epic. It was a big, strong carry from the twelve, and then it looked like my doppelganger scored in the corner. Was it your? Was it? There wasn't your brother, was it? <laughs> there was, no. was my brother. Oh, yeah. brother yes. oh, is, try. is it his first yeah. game up this year? He's been. Has he been playing? Nah, he's been. He's been between. He's been between the twos. Yeah. No, nah, he's um. Oh, yeah. I guess we got. we quite we've got a lot of depth, you know. So we've got. We've got a lot of boys playing, playing. You know, half a game and then coming up and benching. You know, so he's sort of been doing that a fair bit. Oh, nice. It's NDA. Was there any, really? anyone, to, anyone to stand out for you, like guys on Saturday, Sammy? And I guess um, across the season, like uh, those guys that might have played well on Saturday, has there been a couple of guys that have been at the forefront for you guys this season? Uh, a few guys have been at the forefront. I suppose, like, uh, we got a new a new recruit this year, a guy called Joe Robbins. Fuck, he, like, he's going real good. Um, he's big, tall, fit, strong. Like, um. Yeah, it's just usual usual candidates, I suppose. Lockie Wood, yeah. Campbell Wood. Um, but yeah, Jack Keane's been going all right. You know, he's getting a bit of experience at senior level. Yeah. I know you. I'm a long time, long time listener. You boys, I I know you love him. So, <laughs> Price is a huge yeah, but, fan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got an eye for talent. Picked him early. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like you're a scout from way back, mate. No, it's good stuff. Yeah, good nah. stuff. It, no, no, that uh, obviously, um, like we said uh, before we came on tonight, is uh, gives you boys a home final with a week to spare. So you obviously yeah. either take on uh, Edendale and Tiana in the final, one of those two. So actually, just before we move on, we did, Sorry, we did get that message. We did get that message uh, through on the Brains Trust Insta about someone was questioning oh. why, you, why you weren't in the form fifteen. Any any thoughts on that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't. Yeah, I guess I. Uh, <laughs> No, okay, you can't really pick yourself in those ones. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I did really. I did. I did. Um, I did. I did see we got we got a bit of heat from the old Tiana Rugby Club uh, official Instagram page. Yeah. I think. And, um, yes. Yeah. I was, but there, yeah, like, I don't. I think I sort of chucked me under the bus here because you asked for four fifteen, but didn't really elaborate as to 
didn't really elaborate as to how it was picked, you know. Like, I didn't realise mine was the final draft. I thought he was Well, <laughs> to be fair, a few Anthony, others, Nola you know, was, Anthony Nola was also sent us one. However, it was stacked with Edendale players and it wasn't quite yeah. a warm 15 yeah. as, as it was a... Yeah. Um, Windale 15. 15. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah so... Uh, yeah. we'll so, as, yeah, so, so as I said, like as I said, like, we hadn't played Tiago at that stage, so and then they chose us up the weekend after. So, <laughs> well, I, I think the I think the funniest part of that was we, did, we just put their highlights on the uh, on the gram. Then day later, <laughs> Brosi's posted the uh, the form fifteen. The the Tiano, uh, <laughs> the Tiano Insta account wasn't wasn't happy about it. <laughs> yeah, a bit of hate. Nah, it's all, all good. All good fun. They've gone under the radar, like they said. So. Uh, very good. So yeah, good one for you boys there. Um, so book your book your viewing appointment in, I guess, for next Saturday at, at Winton. Um, should be a big day out there for the X Super Final. So we'll go to the third game, which was uh, between the two teams that are slugging it out for second up in TR now. Um, I know I for the first time all season I went against uh, the Magpies and uh, yeah, deeply oh, oh. Um they they got the job done, twenty five points to fifteen on what looked like a pretty wet, miserable Tiano day. So Tiano's first loss at home in twenty twenty. So huge win for the uh, Edendale boys. I can imagine the trip home would have been uh, pretty good. To be fair, you, you boys see any of those highlights or any reports around that game? Uh, yeah, I saw I saw the tries and it looked pretty handy. It looked like McLeod boys, Bram heavily involved. I saw. Um, most of the Edendale boys didn't make it back to Edendale. There was quite a few of them in waxies, um, your goobers and that. Like, and they were they're pretty dirty on the boys not picking them. So apart from myself, obviously, got a big pat on the back. But um, yeah, that's a pretty massive win, especially in those conditions where I, I think we thought going up there that a dry, hard deck would suit Edendale and they'd had to do it tough in the conditions. So that's pretty... I guess ominous signs for whoever has to play them going forward that they can do it sort of on all sorts. Yeah, mate. Bryce, have you seen any of that game? Yeah, I watched just the highlights as well. And there was, there was a couple of good tries that I touched on. And I think it'll be good for Edendale going into Saturday's game. They'll be, they'll be tough to handle. <laughs> Give them yeah. some confidence. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, uh, Sammy, you would have had. Uh, Half an eye on that game, possibly, and um, you know, with the fact you play Edendale this week, and then possibly either play them or Tiana a week later in the final. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely did. Yeah, it was well, you know, straight back to the changing room, straight on the phone, see see what was what what the go was, I suppose. And um, oh, I don't know, like yeah, sort of pick your poison, I suppose. They're both bloody good teams, you know. They've both got yeah. great strengths here and there, you know, but. Um, no, I saw, I saw the try highlight. Yeah, no, it's a good, yeah, good tries there, eh? But um, yeah, I, I heard it's some inside knowledge that Connor Mullane was talking up a bit of set piece, you know. So, <laughs> got, oh, yeah. got that to, yeah, there to <laughs> one of his workmates. So he was talking about <laughs> talking up the set piece. So, jeez, but yeah. Don't know how how we can judge that, but yeah, we'll see how <laughs> yeah. we go. <laughs> must be standing, must be standing too close to the scrums on those blinds. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh no, good stuff. That's that's a good, great win for the Edinburgh boys, and uh, gives them a sniff anyway. I guess standing in their way is uh, you boys this weekend. So we'll get to that shortly. But uh, makes for an interesting last weekend. We might go. We'll get into the Galbraith Shield. So three games there. Um, we said it was moving week a couple of weeks ago, but uh, definitely a bit of movement um, after Saturday. We might start um, at Waverley Park, the scruffy butt. Woodlands took on Star. I uh, know Star had a couple of boys out, particularly in the front row. Greg Pleasant's Tate, Big Tatey and Chrissy Alpua uh, both missed that game. Um, fair to say she was one-way traffic, 28-0 after 15 minutes. Uh, two Woodlands, and then they just uh, put the foot down again in the second half, 56 points to seven. So, well, I guess two massive wins in two weeks for Woodlands against Pirates Old Boys and now Star. So, um, yeah, fair to say, uh, I think they're paying a dollar one at the TAB um, <laughs> for next weekend's final. So, we see any of those highlights, fellas? What one way traffic again? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I've tuned in, mate. They were. They were nice tries too. Some of them, some long ranges, which I think they'll be doing all season. Um, 
but I uh, can't believe I picked Star. Can't believe I picked Star. <laughs> you're bully boy. You're bully boy, Jordan. <laughs> I know. I did. Absol- absolutely buckled, mate. I know. But if he knew then that Chris and, and Tatum yeah. were playing, I'm fucking, I'm filthy on it. It's, it's, yeah. it's good oil. That's yeah. massive outs for them. Like that's a couple that's of the huge. best players. And so Leo wasn't playing either. So to lose your whole front row is pretty tough. Woodlands yeah. just looks, they're just playing so fast and having, if you get them, if they have a line share of the ball, they'll slaughter you. So um, yeah. I think Absolutely. ball retention is pretty key against those guys. Um, I thought Marty was really good. We've given him a spray the last couple of weeks, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, he was good. And I think Howley added to his try tally. Did. I think he might've got one, yes. or, one or two. I, so, I did hear that. Who's yeah, counting? Who's can't be stopped? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's who's counting? Who's counting? Sammy, you've obviously. Uh, definitely... Oh, I bet, I bet. How, uh, Sammy, you've obviously uh, probably caught you know a little bit of the action. You've been tuning into much on the video portal of any of Prem's highlights, or not too much? Yeah, I, yeah, I have been. Yeah, um, yeah, just mainly like try highlights, and but yeah. yeah, that Woodland, well, that Woodlands team, especially like half the time, it looks like boys against men, really, isn't it? Like. Mm-hmm. Just especially some of their tries, like especially like in the in the weekend, you know, some long ranges and just you know, God, like, fuck, like imagine lining up in club rugby against Rain Who, like fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> tough gig, tough gig. Oh, oh, it's a tough gig, you reckon? Yeah, well, I don't think I'll ever have to back him in my life, and if I do something, he's gone seriously wrong. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, nah, he's he's a hard man to put down. To be fair, and what one of many in that team, so. Yeah. yeah, Woodlands. Uh, they got one game to go against the against the Maris lads before they uh, prepare for the final. So uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll be wanting to uh, put in a pretty good dress rehearsal. Right, we'll go to the second game, um, which was at Surrey Park. Um, the Barbarians, who were probably in the role of spo- spoilers um, after losing um, their two games in Storm Week, um, took on Pirates Old Boys. They were up five nil at half time, but uh, Pirates Old Boys managed to come back um, Two tries to them So 14 points to 10 uh, Goal kicking from Greg Proving the difference there Yeah, um, And that's a pretty huge win For Pirates Old Boys Puts them in second um, Equation is pretty darn simple For them this week Win against Star And they're in the final So fair to say They're in the box seat fellas Did we see any of this game Or the highlights of yeah. this game? I, I watched The I watched the game just a couple of hours ago, and it was physical. Like both teams were flying into it. Sort of the deck looked pretty, uh, pretty pudgy there, similar to Blues, I would imagine. But um, I thought for Barbar's Roy Van Voot was really good. I think it was probably his best game of the year. And uh, they've got a new halfback who looked all right. I yes, we, we must uh, bring that up. So I believe it's an Irishman, an Irishman who's been mm. in Dunedin, Alan Benny, played for the Harbour, the Harbour Hawkies. Uh, he's come mm. down for a for a crack, apparently. So he's come down for two yeah, games. He looked, so right. he looked right. Ultimately, in that, in that game, though, the difference was, as you said, Greg's goal kicking and probably Greg's positional kicking just keeping him down there because Barbar's actually looked pretty handy as they have done for the last couple of weeks with ball in hand. But he yeah, just couldn't quite couldn't quite break them. I guess that's the uh, the tail of the Barbar's season, hasn't it? Um, hasn't it, fellas? Uh, Chiefs, like Chiefs-like performance. Just uh, yeah, yeah. like they're, they're, they're doing <laughs> everything, everything but win games. Really, I think their biggest losing margin might be nine points. Um, they obviously the only team to beat Woodlands. Um, then you know probably should have beat Woodlands the second time round, and probably mm. could have could have easily have won another five or six games. So yeah, um, their, their, their first their first try on Saturday was outstanding. Though. I think yeah, it's, it's probably the first try that started yeah, out was, yeah. outside of their own twenty-two. Oh, they they attacking twenty-two. I reckon. That wasn't the James Matheson and the wide channels again, was it? Nah, it was fuck I can't remember. Who? The big seven. Seamus. Yeah. Seamus moved. Oh, yeah, Seamus gave the offload, didn't he? And yeah. that's right. They went through yeah. from there, yeah. yeah. The, 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 the week twelve that they got there has been pretty good too. He's been solid all year. It's not oh, and Toddy Wells. Nah, it's yeah, not he was him. he's playing oh. on a broken league, apparently. He was back on Saturday, <laughs> wasn't he? I think he was back. Yeah, he was, was back for the First half, maybe? Or did he play the whole oh, thing? Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Might not have been wearing 12. But. No, no, all good. Sammy, you obviously uh, with you know, country country head on. You'd be <laughs> impressed with how, despite the losses, how the Barbers have gone this year? 
Yeah, I guess, yeah. The way they the way they do play the rugby is like they're never gonna get blown out, you know. They're a defensive orientated team that, you know, like play close quarters, I suppose. Well, saying that they scored a good long range try on Saturday, but yeah. You know, they yeah, they're never gonna they're never gonna get blown out unless they're playing, you know, a fucking all black team or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I guess the one factor of them is you know they're never gonna throw the towel on. Um which is, yeah, exactly. I guess, you know, a lot of, lot of toughest, toughness in that team. So they've, like we said, been pretty unlucky, but they've got a chance to finish finish this season off, I guess, against Blues on, uh, home game against Blues on Saturday. So I'm sure they'll be uh, wanting to make sure they don't uh, get the dreaded spoon. <laughs> so they'll be out to get the win, I'm sure. There were, had been a couple of murmurings they were going to default, but I'm sure they won't. I'm sure they'll turn up, get the job done. But uh, we'll get to that a bit later. Right, speaking of Blues... Uh, Blues at home took on Maris boys, and uh, fair to say, not not extinguish Maris hopes, but uh, fair to say they put out a, put out a fair few of the flames. Twenty nine, twenty two, uh, they got the job done. A couple of uh, pretty good tries they scored. Uh, Maris boys was twenty nine ten at one stage. The Maris boys come back and scored a couple of tries late, thanks to one uh, Curtis Tarrant, the bluff Ben Smith, um, who was man of the match for the Maris boys. <laughs> And a, and a losing cause. Eyes pretty pretty disappointing um, from Maris' perspective. Yeah, from Maris' perspective, it was disappointing. But really, you look at Blues turned up on the day and were a far better side than us, and thoroughly deserved it. I thought. I think Reese was it was his first game back, and he made a massive difference for them. Just with go forward, um, his scrum set piece was really good. Both teams' lineouts were pretty good. pretty marginal. Yeah. Times, but um, and in, in the backs, Kuman was really good again. Ryan Taylor was playing fullback; he was good. Um, but yeah, we just we didn't front enough. They wanted a bit more, and that's yeah. showed on the scoreboard. We probably yeah. I'm not, uh, just we had our chances, quick, but didn't take. Yeah, yeah, just quickly before I go to the other two boys, uh, Geordie Stewart did give us some oil uh, last week regarding mm-hmm. some positional changes, and he was he was bang on. So it was some yeah. goodwill from uh, Jordy that Oscar would be playing ten Ryan at fifteen. He was he was big on the mark. Uh, Brycey, you watched the game, mate, or you at least part of the game? Yeah, um, yeah, I watched it. Was, uh, thoughts? It was, yeah, it was. Like, I think scrappy was a good word as well, and um, I think eyes you were pretty pretty accurate and it looked like Blues had far more energy. Uh, they're probably sick of getting bagged around town for thinking about defaulting. The scrum was huge and Reese was good too. Um, that massive run off the scrum, scoring tries. Big power move from an 18, 19-year-old against an experienced outfit. So, um, like wounded teams with, with nothing to lose are always pretty dangerous, especially you guys knew you probably had to win to, to keep going and that also puts a bit of added pressure on and then <laughs> always down there is a bit of a hard game. It's sort of... Um, Rough dick. Yeah, one of those home grounds that actually probably like, means something like in terms of um, worth a few points. It's a bit like the showgrounds. I think they, they always play a bit better there as well. Yeah. Sammy, you didn't catch any of that game, mate? No, nah, I didn't catch a full game. I, was, I did I did yeah. watch the tries and stuff. It did look like a like a bit of a swamp, I suppose, a bit of a sweet <laughs> paddock. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but, yeah, just I, I have seen a bit of that. Um, Arise... I don't know, yeah, I can't pronounce his last name, but fuck, he goes good, man. Fuck, he's a strong boy. Yeah, yeah. No, he's um, definitely one to watch. And from uh, had it on good authority that he may well be a part of the stag squad in some form. Not sure if that's a full time <laughs> form or whether he's week to week. But um, hats I guess... off too, I think, for moving Brad too, like from fullback. I think he's it's pretty ballsy play when he's been ripping up there. Yeah, yep. moved, moved him to the left wing. Yeah, the they, wing. Yeah. Uh, they put him to the left wing. Yeah, and it obviously paid off for them. I guess having uh, yeah. three sort of n- nimbler, nippier guys, uh, ten, fifteen, and wing. So uh, fair to play to Blues. That's a good one for them, and gives them a shot at uh, getting off the spoon if they can uh, go out to Gore and tip up the barber. So you know, I guess gives them something to something to play for. Um, 
on Saturday, and I guess they, they had, by all accounts, they had a pretty good night Saturday. They had a uh, courty, and uh, yeah, fair to say, it was a few weeks caught them uh, walking in their dress ups. A few uh, interesting get ups there. Fair <laughs> to say, J- Jay Renton pulled out the 1989 South and Stags track suits. That was a uh, good start. It was Doug McWilliams' one. It's fucking outstanding. Okay, yeah, bring, it, bad, eh? bring it back, yeah. I reckon. Yeah, it's good stuff. So, now, nah, very good work there from Blues. Right, we'll get straight into the Gerald Dermody. Because it was a big, uh, big weekend for those teams. So we'll start at Waikiki. They uh, must win for them if they wanted to make the final. Took on Mosburn, who was must win as well. And the Waikiki boys got it done, thirty-one, fourteen. So a huge win for them. I'm sure, uh, by all accounts, they they celebrated as they always do. Um, went large. So uh, that's a pretty big win for them, fellas. I know, eyes. You're a you're a big Mozzie fan uh, heading into the season. Though I guess. Started well, but probably uh, faltered a bit in, in recent weeks. Um, yeah, they sort of. I think they've been pretty heavily struck by injury. I did get a few reports from this game. It sounded like a relatively spiteful encounter at times. I think there was. Uh, I know Gareth Coots went to the bin for a coat hanger. <laughs> uh, I think Cartsy went to the bin for a neck roll, and I think there was a few skirmishes. Um, sort of all around the field at times. Um, I did get a video from Cartsy at full time. Well, sorry, I changed that about 7.30 of their team winning the boat race. And I think that was yeah. probably the uh, probably the highlight of the Mozzie boys day. But fair play to the Kiwi boys. Um, I think they were led around. I think Harry Tane got man in the match. And I think oh, there's yeah. talks of higher honours for him. So, um, <laughs> so yeah. How many... How many um, how many times did he stop to spew in the game? Does anyone know? That? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get a confirmed report on that, but I did hear multiple. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm a good mate, um, Trevor Burgess, and he said that he's he's good for two or three times a game. He'd stop, he'll stop and get on his haunches and, and have a big chunder, and then get back into it. <laughs> just getting, just getting sort of Friday night out of the system. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I actually did. I did hear Trevor Burgess had a really good game as well. Beefy. Uh, it was from. Yeah. The Poison Dwarf Greg Fitzgibbon gave a shout-out. So, <laughs> oh, so yeah, that's, oh, that's what I've got on that match. Good stuff from the Kiki. Right, we'll go to the next one. Uh, we had we had the Wakatipu Wanderers back at home. We talked about this last week. Hadn't had a home game for a while, but they were back in uh, Queenstown. But uh, unfortunately, didn't do a lot for their for their cause on the field. Going down to the Tokanui boys, 39-17. So, big trip for the Tokanui boys. Paid off. Um, Unsure if they uh, stayed the night or came back on the bus o, but I'm sure they would have uh, celebrated heavily. Thank you, fucking um, <laughs> country boys. They'd be like, like a deer in headlights and bloody Queenstown, <laughs> yeah, wouldn't they? Yeah. Oh, they wouldn't, get up to they, wouldn't know what to do with themselves. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure they. I'm sure they would have partied hard. So, um, 39-17. So that pretty much means Tokanui. Um, puts them in second play or second equal, sorry, with Waikiki. Yep. So, oh yeah, both on twenty four points. Uh, I know Waikiki have got to uh, head to Newman Park to take on top of the table Pioneer. Um, so they've pretty much got to go and get five points, I think, to have some sort of chance. Um, Tokanui boys uh, taking on Albion, so that will be an interesting uh, game. Yeah, right. We'll go to the last game. Um, which was the Gore, the Battle of Gore. Uh, Pioneer took this one out a few weeks ago on their home turf. They were over at the showgrounds this week. And uh, fair to say, home ground advantage didn't do much for the Albion boys. 64 points to five. So a bit of a bath there. Pioneer uh, flexing their muscle. Um, puts them clear ahead first place with one week to go. The Pioneer uh, train starting to starting to gather pace, fellas. The, um, yeah. 60... 64 points on the Gore Showgrounds is a pretty fair effort at this time of year. Like, you've got to think they must have been absolutely hissing to score that. Yeah, um, yeah it would be interesting to see. I know it's got a complete hypothetical question, but how Pioneer would go in that next grade up. Obviously, In the, in the X-Sopa going, grade. In the X-Sopa, yeah, just because they are travelling quite well in this one. I know it's, everything's yeah. year to year, but that would be interesting anyway. Yeah, I did see they uh, they did have. I know the Southland Times do like a video highlights of the lower grades every week. I don't know if you guys have seen. Oh them. yeah, 
under the yeah. article, but um, they had highlights of the Pioneer game and uh, a couple of meat pies in the left corner. Fair to say their uh, captain and coach suggested they like to give the ball a fair bit of air. So, um, yeah, look, look promising from their perspective. So, pretty pretty good shot at uh, getting a final at Newman Park next weekend. So, um, by Kiwi coming up, I'm sure that's all the motivation they need to, to try and get a home uh, final. Um, so we might get straight into the preview and the tips for this week. We'll so. start at the Wakatipu Rugby Club. So the Wanderers get another get a home game to finish off what's been a tough season for the for the Wanderers lads. Um, got the travelling Mosburn Stags. Now this could be this could be an interesting Saturday night up in Queenstown. <laughs> Mosburn are out of the hunt, so I'm sure they'll be on the hunt uh, in terms of the off <laughs> off field performance. Uh, do we think the Wanderers have got an upset in them, fellas, or or do we think Mosburn might have their eye on the on the aftermatch, or do you think they'll get the job done? I don't give Wakatipu a chance, mate. <laughs> Not even a starter's chance. Oh, mate, it's been a, been a tough oh, season for the lads. Have some faith, mate. Nah, they need to roll thirteen plus. 13 plus Mozzie? Yeah, absolutely. Zero wins I'll, this season, I'll, I'll so they'll be thir- wanting to get off the donut. I'll say 13, 13 plus as well. And with a 145 game, that just makes souping after it even that more dangerous. That's an extra hour for those Mozzie boys to fly. And I imagine us staying up there the weekend and probably having a wee Sunday as well. So uh, yeah, dangerous absolutely. times in Queenstown. Yes, one forty-five kickoff. We are right there, I. So yes, I can expect, or we would expect, a massive uh, shift from those boys. Um, are, you allowed into the, are you allowed into the Queenstown pubs and Jandals? How's he going? Uh, <laughs> Jandals. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Right, Sammy. What, what's your tip, mate? What are you thinking? Mosburn too good. Oh yeah, probably, mate. But um. I'll give the I'll give the Wanderers a chance, unlike Bryce. But I'll Go give them on. I'll give I'll give Mozzie, Mozzie twelve and under because I had no I reckon they'll have too much of an eye on the post match. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna won't go. Be, they won't be. <laughs> I'm gonna go Mozzie thirteen plus, um, but I think I would not be surprised if uh, this is a bit closer than than what we maybe predict. Expecting a big after match though. Bryce, you made your tip, obviously, 13 plus. Yeah. 50 plus or just 13? Uh, I'm thinking 35 plus. Oh, yeah. Fair play, mate. Right, we'll go, to, we'll go to Tokanui. Taylor Swan in charge of this one. Good to see Taylor back in action on the, with the whistle. Taking on Albion. So Albion... Uh, been a tough he, he has warmed up mate it's taken a couple of weeks but he's warmed up taking it on Albion um, at the Tokanui Rugby Club so Tokanui win this with a bonus point um, fair to say I think that will get them into the final um, not sure in terms of the mathematics whether they still have an outside chance of getting a home final but uh, we'd have to look into that one and get the calculators out what do you think fellas Tokanui too good too much to play for yeah, you'd yeah. like to think so, wouldn't you? Mm. Yeah, that might, might be a cop, copy and drag across the sheet, mate. Yeah, it's already plus. done. I don't it's know what done. sort of I don't know what sort of state the Tokenui tracks in though. From playing there in in my youth, relatively poorly, it was always pretty bad around this time. Yeah, they're in Gorge Road, so I don't know how that'll be holding up. But yeah, Tokenui, yeah. yeah. Albion Albion just got fifty put on them on the Gore Showgrounds. They don't go good on a boggy track, so it'll probably suit. Tokenui. They did. They did draw with the Kiwi a couple of weeks ago. So, I, I don't know. They just might be a team that might turn up every couple yeah. of weeks. Stop it's pumping them up. Bombast. I don't think anyone from Albion listens to this, mate. They're going to get pumped. 13 plus. <laughs> uh, we, we only have strictly strictly Pioneer <laughs> listeners and Gore, mate. I see Pioneer, Pioneer did follow us on the gram. So, uh, they're obviously uh, a- avid listeners that we uh, keep pumping their tyres every week. Nice, mate. Right. Makes sense we'll now why you're suggesting they go up to the x Open. Everyone wants to know you when you're winning, eh? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Get on the bandwagon. So we will go to Newman Park. Um, the Waikiwi lads heading up to Gore, State Highway 1, to try and uh, get five points and give themselves some sort of shot um, at making the final. What do we think, fellas? Pioneer too good here? Or can, can Waikiwi 
It is a clash of the red. Red on red. Mm. Not sure if there's any alternate jerseys going on here. Could be. Could Might be, be a South and Country out. jersey. Wouldn't it? Stop, stop, stop in at the tower sure. and grab those jerseys again. <laughs> yeah, they like <laughs> to pull a Tiana out there. Yeah. What do they think, Pioneer? Too good? Uh, I think they will be, but guts me. I'd love Waikiki to get up there. Um, they'll be spewing they dropped those points against Albion a couple weeks ago. Oh, I bet. I'm going to go Pioneer Unders, but I hope I'm wrong. Go on the Kiwi. Get up. Oh, I'm ge- fuck, I'm going the Kiwi. Nice. Purely because of what they've get in. Fuck yes. uh, I, I did see on the Waikiki Facebook page today that they are inquiring about taking a bus up there. So, oh, Christ knows it could so I think that could be worth a couple of points if that bus gets up there. And I think I'll go, I'll take them under. So I think they get, it's, they get it's the not job the, done. It's not the party bus, is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. That might be about the only bus in town you can piss up on now. True. No, I, I'm going to go Waikiki. No, I'm not. I'm going to go Pioneer Unders. <laughs> you just remember that they followed the page, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got, got to keep pumping them up, mate. Sammy, what do you think, mate? Pioneer, two good. Oh, no, I'm going with my heart here, mate. Oh. I'm going to go Kiwi Unders. Go for the Kiwi. Yeah. Go with the boys. Oh, but... Go with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've heard it here. There's an upset on the cards. Boys can smell an upset. <laughs> While Kiwi are heading up to Gore. So uh, that, that could be a uh, must watch if you're around Gore on uh, on Saturday. If you don't feel like going to watch the Barbars play Blues for the Spoon, you might have to head on to Newman Park. Right. Good stuff. Right, we'll crank into the X Soper. She's a big weekend uh, with three games there. We'll start off out at Wyndham. Uh, this game, obviously, both teams out of the running, but pride on the line. Uh, Wyndham at home, looking to finish the season on a high. Like Sammy mentioned earlier, haven't have missed out on the final for the first time in a number of years. So they'll be uh, looking to finish off against Riversdale, who Riversdale did beat them a couple of weeks back. We think Wyndham might Finish on a high here, guys. We we just say it was being played, sorry, Scoot. Uh, it's at Wyndham. Wyndham number one. At hey, Wyndham. It's a fucking tough place to play. Yeah, um, tough gig. Grant Dermody in charge of this one. Sorry, I stand, cor- well. I, st- I, sorry I stand corrected. Sorry, I stand corrected. Mike Ooh. Newman. Apol- apologies, Mike Newman. Mike Newman. Oh, f- flip a coin, isn't it? I don't know, Wyndham Unders for me, no confidence. Yeah, give me give me Wyndham Unders, Brycey. I think they'll they'll finish on a high at home. I yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go Rivers that one but it's just because it's, oh. it's, it's it's a dead rubber. I haven't picked them all year. Have you? you actually them, have them, mate. Oh, yeah, I yeah. A bit earlier. No, I got them against Waikaka. Yeah, yeah you did. Oh, did you? He caught calling calling for them to uh, almost be dropped out of the comp, or they were considered easy beats at the start of the season. Or? This, is, this, this is this is this is a sham. But um, no, well, they, they, it's actually. I mean, it's not a dead rubber. So Riverstar win this, they stay ahead of them on the table, which will be mid table finish. They'll be happy with that after their slow start. Slow start, yeah. Call it that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Sammy, what are you, oh, you've obviously tipped, mate. So it's uh, oh, what are you thinking? Oh, I don't know, mate. Um, probably oh, Wyndham's a tough place to play, but I'm gonna go Riversdale 12, 12 and under, I reckon. Yeah, just cool. like they're just a it's just a prick of a team to play against, like, yeah. like much like the Barbars and your grade, I suppose, just you know, dirty and just fucking tough, yeah. <laughs> Did they almost tip you up? The other, was it last week? The week before, sorry? No. We've been nearly tipped up like two or three times this year. Like just, well, Jerry, yeah. There's been a couple of times where, yeah, they missed one probably like 30, oh, 25 back, 15 in from touch. Missed one on the right hand side, like to win it. Like, fuck, we got away with a couple there mid season. Yeah. So, yeah. This yeah. year, they should have really beaten us. So, fuck, I'll tip them. <laughs> Yeah, no, they've definitely been right in the hunt. Right, we'll go to the Waikaka Rugby Club. So they're at home looking to finish off the season on a bit of a high. Tough season for the Waikaka boys. Plenty of bonus points, but not many Ws to show for it. Um, taking on Tiana. Tiana will be probably kicking themselves um, that they didn't get the job done at home against Edendale last week. But uh, they still have a shot at the final. 
Uh, I think five points um, gives him a decent sniff. Um, what do we reckon here, fellas? Tiano, although Waikeka is a tough place to play, and especially Tiano on having to travel. Uh, Waikeka, I mean, I'll go Tiano unders. I think. Oh, actually, now nah, fuck it. I'll go Tiano overs. I don't know what sort of shape the Kaka was going to turn up in. So some oil, yeah, some oil there, or just a hunch? Absolutely no oil. No oil. Last game of the season at home. Don't have to travel. We can really let the heat out on Friday night. I, yeah, I don't oh, know. yeah, I don't. I had a bit of oil that they were looking to play it on the Friday night for some reason, but oh, yeah. I'm oh, not. Yeah. yeah, that's that's unconfirmed. Like why Kaka were looking to play it on the Friday? Utilize those lights so with it. Mm. Whether they, yeah, that either True. that or whether they had a few boys away on Saturday, I don't know. Yeah, I oh, know. Interesting stuff. What are, what's your pick, mate? Who what are, what are you feeling? Tia now, too good. Oh, yeah, probably. Um, I get the Mondays though. Well, kick a gritty team, you know. Like they got a pretty good pack. Um, and like a few good backs here as well, you know. So I reckon they'll hang in there. But oh, Tia now will be good, too good. I reckon. Yeah, hopefully they remember their kit this week. Otherwise, it might be another. Yeah. Uh, what a what a fuck up! <laughs> like, <laughs> could could, could, could you imagine? Could, could you imagine the Midlands boys having a rock another team's kit? Uh, fuck, I wouldn't be rocking the Terra kit anyway. I don't know. <laughs> what would you what rather would you, play in skins? Rather play in skins. <laughs> what would you do with your manager if that had happened at Middies? Oh, fuck, it'd be a pretty serious fine for you. Um, <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what would happen, but I'd hate to think. <laughs> String him up. Is he coming oh, home on the team bus if that happens, or is he finding his own way back to Winton? <laughs> <laughs> you have a bit of a hitchhiker's punishment, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, yeah, could do work. Yeah, no, nah, let's, uh, let's hope they remember the kit. I'm sure they will this week. Um, right, I'm going to go TR now. I'm going to go TR now unders. I think they'll get it done, but uh, yeah, well, Kaker will make it harder for them, I think. Could be interesting. Right. We'll go to, I guess, the the finale of the Axe Sopa um, at the Edendale Rugby Club. All to play for for the for the Magpies. Uh, big win against Tiana, as we mentioned. Taking on New Midlands boys, though, Sammy. I'm sure you boys won't be wanting to uh, drop away before next week's final. And you'll be wanting to put in a good performance. So this, this could be a... Hell of a game, I would suspect. Grant Dermody is riffing this one um, at the Edendale Road Club. Eyes will go to you first, mate. Ants Noel, I heard from him this week. Yeah, he is. He is. He's had a couple of weeks off reporting, but can confirm he will be on ground this week. So I think yeah. that's worth a couple of points for the Edendale boys. I'm going to take, sorry, Sammy, I'm going to take Edendale unders just because I think oh. they need the game slightly more than you boys do. But yeah, obviously their Noel effect is massive. Yeah, I I yeah. think I don't think you can really put it into words uh, the importance there. So yeah, in now just Brycey, what do you think, Matt? I'm going to who did they who did Endow have last week? They played Tiana. Tiana, I oh, had a good win. Yeah, uh, oh, I'm going to go Midlands. Midlands. Oh, Midlands. Yeah, good on you, mate. Midlands. I don't know the margin. Twelve under. Twelve under. <laughs> I, I I would I would go Midlands, but <laughs> Jesus, I've tipped Edendale all year, and then I didn't tip them last week, and they bloody they got it done. For cool. I I'm sorry, Sammy. I I might oh, yeah. have to go eyes. I might have to get eyes. <laughs> I think I, I smell that the Edendale boys might be uh, hunting a finals berth, um, but I can confirm that it's. If they do tip you up, it's very hard to beat a team twice in two weeks. So, could could be not the worst home of his. Give me give me Edendale yeah. twelve and under, but not not a huge amount of confidence. We've gone all I know we haven't a few different picks yeah. there. And obviously, Sammy, we know your uh, we know your pick on that one. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll go, <laughs> unless you're not I'll telling us something. Under, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got some. Yeah, got some serious oil that I'm not telling. You. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But now, I, I fear to say, I would. This could be a pretty good humding. I know you boys had a pretty close battle. You boys came out for a good win. I think was it by about seven or eight points last time you played in Winton. So, I think um, it was seven, and, yeah. 
year seven and watching those, there was some bloody good tries scored from both teams. So I would say you boys will obviously have the edge up front. Um, but, you know, that Edendale back line, they are pretty dangerous. When yeah. So, uh, yeah, expect, expect a good one there. If you're out near Edendale on Saturday, head, head over for a look. Right, we'll go to the Galbraith Shield. Last week of games. We'll start at the showgrounds. Uh, a battle for the wooden spoon, fair to say. Barbarians taking on Blues. What do we think, fellas? Barbar's at home. Blues still hung over from their courty. Oh, yeah, mm. Barbar's unders for me. Yeah. I think that'd be too good. Yeah, give me Barbar's unders, Bryson. I'm going, going Blues unders. Barbar's, they've, they've forgotten how to win. <laughs> Chiefs Manor, Chiefs Manor. It's stuff. <laughs> Half gig, mate. They're the only team to beat Woodlands, mate. Yeah, good on them. They haven't, they haven't won since then. <laughs> Have Fuck I not? You're off them. I thought you were a big <laughs> Barbars fan, mate. Hold What's on, happened? look. <laughs> I'm a couple behind in the picks. You've both gone Barbars. I need to make up ground. I'm, I'm going all in. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, fair enough. If I'm going to lose by Thanks. two or ten, it doesn't matter. Just quickly, do you think Blue should keep their uh, their 10, 11, 15 axis that they used against Maris last week? Do what? they? Is on that the too risky on the showgrounds? <laughs> to be fair, the showgrounds uh, is probably in better nick than the Blues number one. So, oh, oh well, if hard. that's the case, then absolutely. Uh, don't it's, yeah, no, don't change a winning formula. I don't see why they would. Sammy, what do you think, mate? Battle for the spoon. Oh yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Probably Barbar's 12 and under, I'd, I'd pick. But, yeah, don't expect the ball to get outside 13 too much, I wouldn't say. <laughs> no, can't, ima- can't imagine. I'll tell you what, Wel- Welsey and Kalepi, I'll tell you what, that, that'll be a, that'll yeah, be a match awesome. up. What a, what a ding-dong battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, contrast in size, but not in uh, ability to get their team over the gain line. Nah. So. Yeah, I'm blues. <laughs> yeah, we'll watch that one with bated breath anyway. Sam Nicholson in charge of that one. So he's been given the assignment of uh, heading out to Gore. Right, we'll go to we'll go to Miller Street actually. We'll go to Marist. Marist boys taking on Woodlands. Uh pretty f- Marist not absolutely out of it. A, a Marist win and a star win um would get Marist into the final, but obviously Coming up against the Red Hot Woodlands team who have dispatched Pirates Old Boys and Star by 50, 60 points. So, tall order for the Marist boys. Um, Brycey and Sam will start with you two boys. Brycey, do you give uh, Marist boys any hope here or oh, are you just mate. locking it in? Any with team with Jeremy Ball and two is a chance on the day. Are you playing, Scotty? It's, that's a big question. Uh, at this stage, I'll be back. At this stage. All right. That makes sure. a bit of a difference. I mean, okay, I'm going to go with the old strategy earlier in the year of not packing yours because then you usually win. So it's diff- it's different when we played against Woodlands, though. <laughs> yeah, what margin do you want? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we did we did race out it to a 15 0 lead last time we played them, but unfortunately that's where it stopped. So yeah, okay, then I'll just go Woody's 13 plus, and hopefully I'm wrong. Sammy, what do you think, mate? Woodland's too good. Oh. Or the Maris boys smell a bit of an upset. But oh, fuck. it doesn't really matter. So um, I'll go with my heart again because I got a few mates in that Maris team. Uh, so I'll go Maris twelve and under. But have oh. me for Lem Helly first mm. try scorer. <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad shout. Yeah, it's fair, fair to say our preview work this week was um, we're just going to be real tight around the rut because we know he'll just be looking looking to run the ball. Um, and look, he's look greedy, greedy. <laughs> he's yeah. greedy. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be listening to, to this. To get it out of his hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, Marty, Marty and Kyle would not be seeing the ball. So, <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting game there. At Miller Street, we can that will be played at Maris. So if you're if you're around Miller Street on Saturday, head along for a look. Nathan Lyle in charge of that one. What's the um, what's the tactic of playing it there at Mer- uh, Miller Street, mate? I thought you'd like to get out to this George. Well, you know, so you know to, how so to Woodlands. So to Woodlands, <laughs> to be fair. So that's a you know count, counterproductive, really. Uh, Maris yeah, number I've two. Gone, I've gone fishing there. I know exactly why it's at Maris. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, slow the them number, down. The Maris number two is in great nick, mate. Can confirm it's in great nick. 
<laughs> actually, it will have a, it. Actually, will have a curtain raiser on it. Maris B taking on Midlands B. Pretty crunch game. One says, you've, oh. shift, you've shifted that game off the one. One fifteen kickoff. Can will your brother be lining up in that one, Sammy, or and then do the dash oh. out to Winton, or not quite? Not entirely sure, mate, but I don't think so. I think he's uh, he's he, well, he had a real good game in the weekend, so I think he's got a spot at fullback there. Yeah. He's lo- he's locked it in. Good stuff, right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Good, good work. Right, we'll go to the last game. This is probably, I guess, the most with or the game with the most riding on it at Pirates Old Boys. Uh, Pob taking on Star. Pob currently on twenty seven. Maris on 25, Star on 22. Now, Star do have a Star pretty much win this game with five, and Maris um, lose to Woodlands. Then Star will go through to the final. So, well and truly an opportunity for them. Uh, Pirates Old Boys, on the other hand, just need to win the game. Um, actually, they either need to win the game or if Maris, Maris were to lose, they just need a single point. So. Um, plenty to play for for both of these teams. Not sure as to the injury status of the Star Boys, but you would think Pirates Old Boys slight favourites here. Um, yeah, it's sort of pretty tough with without knowing who's going to be in that Star front row. Yeah, I know. It's tough to make uh, a decision. This is... Can I preface it with and saying if Star have got their front, their normal front row, then I'll take them. Otherwise, I'd take Pirates Old Boys. Yeah, I probably can't do that, can I? Well, no, yeah. that's a you good do whatever point. you want, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the game? Sorry, Scotty, if you said it, I didn't. Sorry, honestly. sorry, Park, mate. Sorry, Park. Oh yeah, the nest. <laughs> what do you think, mate? Um, I th- I think I think Star will win, but I think Bob oh, will oh. go through. I think they'll go through though. Still, they'll get it. They'll snag a four try bonus point with that back line, or they'll they'll finish within seven. Fair enough, mate. What, what's 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 your hunch of star? Is that with Pleasant's Tate and a uh, pile uh, on this, board? At, no, at the start of this round, I don't know if you remember, I said they're my smokey to sneak in to the gal brace. I sort of want they, to back they myself do, home. They do have a knack of uh, sneaking in at the back end of a season to the Star Boys, um, aka last year. So yeah. you know, I'm sure I'm sure they've uh, they know how to get into these situations and make the most of it. Sammy, what do you think, mate? Going to be a tight one. Oh. Yeah, pra- yeah, I guess yeah. Like you said, with the the star front row out, that's massive for them, I suppose. Um, like three good players there, but I think I think Bob will get it done by fuck all, probably like one or two, I reckon. Yeah. What'd you go, s- Pop? I'll go star. I'll go I'll star unders. Hey. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm, I I seen an Instagram story of uh, Tady doing a bit of training, so I'm gonna go on the yeah, assumption. Yeah, I saw that. that yeah. Go on the mm-hmm. assumption that he's he's lining up and he's in for a big one. So give me yeah, give me give, me give me give me star unders. Bit of be a bit of feeling in that game. There'll be there'll be a bit uh there'll be a bit out in the field, I'd imagine. Bit yeah. of chip both ways. So we'll, yeah. see what, we'll see what comes. We'll see what comes. Interesting stuff. The forecast is for rain as well. Um, yeah, that, that, this finish is, pro- is probably a, a tick in the box for that this format, right? Do you agree? In terms like of just come, a straight straight final format, yeah, yeah. So if it was yeah. back to the old format, like you'd probably just you know you're in well, the semi final. Well, yeah, I guess the only the only thing if it was a semi final would have been uh, if you were star, you wouldn't want to be finishing fourth. So yeah, they they wanted to finish fourth last year, probably not so much this year. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts on the format, quickly, Sammy? Obviously, uh, looking at all the grades, um, none of the uh, finals have been confirmed. Obviously, most of the grades, there's one team have pretty much locked themselves in, but the rest spots up for grabs. You, you think it's you know, and what's been a bit of a disjointed uh, year, it's worked out pretty good. Yeah, I, yeah, well, I think so. Yeah, but like, I guess rugby Southland's hands were tied in terms of getting the competition done by a certain date and stuff, but it sort of had to be done, didn't it? It was, but like obviously we were looking to play up a, uh, up for the Galbraith again this year, you know, like we did last yeah. year. And um, yeah. I really liked that last year and I know a lot of teams did, you know, like yeah. can't please everyone. Like some, no. some teams fucking hated it, but um, 
yeah, like it sort of had to be done this year, but hopefully we can get back to, I guess, us being able to, you know, go up a grade and, you know, give a, crack at, give a crack at you boys, you know, but we, we mm. really enjoyed it last year and want to get back into it. Yeah, mate, absolutely. I'm sure uh, hopefully uh, all going well. We don't have to go back into another lockdown in 2021. We can yeah, get back to the uh, to the format that was um, either going to be run or hopefully, you know, um, we could even go 10, 10 teams would be um, ideal. But I guess we'll, uh, we'll see what happens over the, over the off-season. Um, interesting mm. stuff anyway. Just quickly, uh, just had a bit of a, just before we finish, finish off with one more segment tonight, bit of Dan Watch. Um, just quickly, I understand he was uh, spotted at the Wallace Town uh, pub slash fish and chipper um the woodlands bus woodlands did a wee bus um, pub crew on the weekend I understand he uh he was getting his fish and chips the woodlands bus arrived and he's uh he's jumped on the bus uh smelt the galbraith was uh <laughs> heading me away and jumped, <laughs> jumped jumped on board and gone around uh the countryside with him so unconfirmed report but uh may may see him uh on the sideline at maris this weekend <laughs> with a woodlands hoodie on <laughs> it's elusive for him, big Dan. Oh, he's been close. Yeah. He's been close. Yeah. So now there was there was some some good oil there from an unconfirmed uh, woodland source. Uh, How many bits of fish kind of man do you reckon Dan is? I'm I'm a two. I don't want two. Are we talking shark or, or are we talking <laughs> shark or cod? <laughs> <laughs> what give, is cheaper? Give, give him the shark, mate. Give him the shark. Oh, he'd probably uh, go close to half of a shark. <laughs> Former Sharky's man himself. Right. Yeah, big sharks, man. Nah, so that's some good damn watch there. So we'll, uh, we'll have to see how that plays out this week. Right, we'll finish off. We thought we'd, uh, there was a bit of discussion around, we obviously had a bit of a laugh about TR now's wardrobe malfunction. We thought, uh, what are the best couple of strips and the worst couple of strips in South and Club Rugby? So, Eyes, we might start with you. Um, give us, give us your top couple and your worst couple. There are uh, obviously this is all, uh, you know, individual opinion based, but uh, yeah, there are yeah. there are a few goodies and a few baddies out there. So, I've gone. The, I don't think there's many good ones in Premier. So I've gone star. I just think the kit actually works from from like the hopes all the way down to the socks. So I think that's. Uh, for me, it looks like it's a pretty classical rugby look. I've gone Central Pirates. They're no longer Central Pirates. I think they're Bush Pirates, but they run the black jerseys with the white collars and the skull oh, and yeah. crossbones over the, over the heart. So oh, for me, on. that's quite a uh, that's quite a good one. And my third one, I think a couple of other boys might have them as Midlands. I think Midlands is a very good strip, especially the new ones. Look very tidy, uh, and then all the colours work together. So it's yeah. good for the worst ones. I've gone. I've gone Albion Excelsior. Um, I think they run a black, red, and yellow of sorts. I just don't – I think that's too much. I think it's doing too much in terms of jumper. Uh, I've gone collegiate. I'm not oh, big not on the, the collegiate, boys. Oh, um, that's a great one. I used to smoking. give collegiate a rep, but um, I just not, I'm not big on the mustard and the maroon as a, as a jumper. And I can't remember what the shorts are, but I don't think it matches. And my last one – uh, is a little bit left field, but I've gone Pirates Old Boys after match shirts. Um, oh, yes. they, are, they are possibly the worst after match shirts I've ever seen. That's coming from someone who used to wear bright lime green one for Maris. So, uh, your Pirates Old Boys after match shirts are number one for me. Good work, mate. Great stuff. Uh, Br- Brycey, what do you got, mate? Uh, right. So, for the best, I have got Waikiwi in there. I like that color scheme. Um, the Kiki. I, 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 I've put Pob, Pob Prems in there. I, I do like the front of the jersey when they turn around and you see those big numbers. They are fucking awful, but <laughs> just from a front-on view, I, I, lo- I actually like what they've done there. And my Smokey and the best strip in Southlands, um, the Maris, the the Bluff Maris Hawaiian Delights. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. to shout. <laughs> Those, those. Hawaiian. Is that the actual Hawaiian Delights tops? Is that what you're talking? Yeah, the ones with the hibiscus flowers all over them. They're, you know, yes. You'd always turn up in a good mood for chucking them on, wouldn't you? They're just like party shirts, but on the field. Brilliant. Yeah, mate. Absolutely. Um, and worse, quickly, I did have my tower down, but eyes, that collegiate calls outstanding. It's sort of similar colour ones, but that, yeah, the gold, 
doesn't doesn't go. I've gone. I was gone. I've gone for Menzies College as number two. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Terrible <laughs> kit. Terrible <laughs> kit. It's another smoky. So talk, um, talk us talk us through the Menzies <laughs> colours because some people who might listen to this might have no idea what colour. It's just or what mean, it's green. Of and well, when I get to number one, I've obviously got. I think it's it green. Some sort of green theme on the there, jerseys. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's like a it's like a pooey coloured green with a a weird <laughs> shade of red. It's just shit. It's just a shit kit. Yeah. Um, and then number one, I I said it last week's white kaka, and it's mainly because it's like like eyes oh, you touched on, like not just the jerseys, the shorts and the socks are a thing too, but it's just everything's green. It's just like they're running around no, in green. No they contrast. They change the colour of the shorts, bit of black or white or something, just mix it up, fellas. I don't think you can go black with that colour green, eh? In terms of shorts, I think it has to be white. Yeah, that, I think they do good. run white, don't they? So they Sammy, run white will to, Sammy will be able to answer yeah. that. Yeah, a bit, a bit of white trim up on the shoulders, I think. Oh, right. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's pretty it's green. A, I think, I know. I, I think Maris is saved by the black. The black, black in the jersey makes it look all right. Yeah, fair, fair to say there's been a few shades of green in the Maris camp in recent seasons, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Sammy, what do you got, mate? Oh, first of all, I think Oz is asking for a few one outs in the waxy smokers for the uh, <laughs> dogging on collegiate there. But um, <laughs> <laughs> watch, yeah, oh, they're, they're they're in the final, mate, so they'll be resting up. <laughs> oh no, I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, <laughs> yeah, fuck. Best, oh, a bit of home cooking, I suppose. I, I back the Midlands strip. I, I, especially this year's one. Like last few years, they've been all right, but. I really like this year's one. Um, I like, um, like uh, I was touched on before, the hoops. Uh, I like Riversdale. Like they, yeah, they run yeah. a black and white hoops yeah, sort of all, yeah. all the way down. Um, oh, and whereas, uh, yeah, like Bryce said, Waikaka, I'm yes. not a massive fan. <laughs> so I've always like, nothing against Waikaka, but I just don't like the strip. Um, and yeah. Oh, oh, high nightcaps. Um, oh, yeah, oh, that's a great one. That is a on. great one. <laughs> oh, like it's 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 what a dark, like? dark green with a yuck shade of yellow, and it's all <laughs> yeah. like it's all over the show. It's yeah, like yeah. And yeah, myself, I'm probably asking for a bit of a left right good night saying that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's a great call, mate. I hadn't thought of that, but that's uh, that's, no, no, that's a great smoky. Yeah. I've just jumped. Yeah, right. Oh, that is terrible. <laughs> like, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, like, yeah, great green and yellow. Like they're, they're beside each other on the color wheel, aren't they? So yeah, they're not meant to go yeah. together. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a great yeah. show. This could really spark a few, a uh, few uh, conversations and uh, committee meetings over the coming months. It could be, you know, <laughs> some brand new kits coming out twenty twenty one. Fingers crossed. What, but, have, uh, what have you gone for, Goni? I've gone yeah. for a bit of a mix here. I've gone three and three. I actually just changed late, um, Sammy. I, I actually hadn't thought of that one. But I'll start with the, the goodies. I've gone Midlands as well. So I, I'm in particularly new strip. Yeah. I probably yeah. wasn't, you know, I always thought like the red, white with the black. But I think your, your new strip looks pretty sharp. So I, I just, I need to say, I did, I did tell Benny that McCurch that we were doing this segment. He did tell me if I didn't pick Midlands, I was fucking blind. So that was, <laughs> that was part of the, part of the reason I left you out. That was a nice cat. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say, do you actually listen to him? Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. So is that just is that Paladin your new jerseys, mate? Paladin kit? Yeah, like everyone I, else in town? I, uh, as far as I'm yeah. aware, yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, is, yeah. yeah, yeah. They seem to be uh, right amongst uh, many of the clubs and the teams these days. But no, it's good stuff. Second one, I've gone for a bit of an outsider. I've gone for the Wakatipu Wanderers. Don't mind the. It's a good uh, their, kit. Their blue strip, actually. I'm a bit of a fan of that. Sky, <laughs> sky blue. Not everyone's taste, but uh, I, I don't mind it. Yeah. Something, something a bit different. You don't see too many teams in Southland in particular no, right. with that sort of colour. So it's uh, it's good stuff. And the third one, I'm sticking to my red theme. I've actually gone for bluff. I don't mind the Ooh. bluff. Oh, uh, yeah. The red and white hoops. Jeez. Is there much That's difference so. between these and Pioneer? Well, they're uh, very similar. Sort of Pioneer is most so similar red, to... I think. Oh, yeah. I, think I did have a look at Pioneer. Similar, yeah. similar, similar to an uh, Tao strip there, Scoot. Yes. Yeah, I did think of a Tao as well, mate. But um, yeah, yeah, we'll go, we'll go bluff on that account. 
So yeah, I tried to go think outside the square a little bit. Now my three, my three, uh, not so good. I've gone Albion like you eyes. I just yeah, does doesn't do a yeah. lot for me. Um, just like the Gore Showgrounds really. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tick off Albion there. Second one, I've actually got, I've actually gone the Tokanui strip. It just that that plain oh, green, I... not not much to it. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if they still rock the cotton shorts down there either, but a uh, high chance they possibly. <laughs> Um, so yeah, not not a lot of uh, different, you know, not a lot of not a lot of pizzazz on that strip. Mm. I've gone them, and I now I did have uh, I did have another team, but I've actually I've changed my bet there to Ohio Nightcap, so uh, hey. I hadn't thought hadn't thought of them. So yeah, what was the other one though? What was yeah. the other one? Yeah, go on. I'd, <laughs> go actually, on. I'd, I'd, I'd actually got Mosburn, mate. Just oh, oh, oh really? Oh. Yeah. Hey, boy, hey. Jesus. Didn't do a lot for me, <laughs> but like like you say, Oz, the premier ones don't uh, leave a lot to be desired either. To be fair, so oh no, there's not very not very good ones in premier footy. Yeah, so you know the bar bars weren't far away from that list either. To be fair, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's good stuff. Um, yeah, bit of a laugh anyway. So I'm sure uh, people could debate that all night long over a few points, but um, that'll that'll probably do us for tonight. Sammy, cheers for coming on, mate. Great to have you uh, uh, on board tonight, and uh, all the best for your for your last round robin game. And then, obviously, as you move into the final, I'm sure she'll be a big day in winter next Saturday. And I'm sure uh, if us Maris boys don't get it done, there might be a couple of us uh, heading out to watch the X Sofa. So, all the best, man. Go well, and uh, hopefully, she's a big party for you boys next Saturday. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, hardy my everyone. Everyone's welcome, I suppose. Yeah, come along. <laughs> I think I heard a rumor that Kirch McKirch might be uh, breaking out of isolation um, to make that game next Saturday. So the, the government oh, just keep their eyes peeled. We've got um. No, I think we yeah, there's talks of getting a bouncer. So fuck, we'll, we'll, he'll, he'll have his he'll have his fucking he'll have his photo on the back wall saying don't let the man in. He'll be way too comfy in those five star hotels. He's that's his kind of setup. <laughs> yeah. nah, Nothing but the stuff. best, brother. <laughs> Nothing but the best, man. Nah, good stuff. Cheers, <laughs> cheers, eyes. Cheers, Brycey. Um, no worries, mate. Yeah, nah, cheers. one, one cheers, game Sammy. to go, possibly, eyes. So uh, we'll see how we go. Nah, good stuff, fellas. Beauty. <laughs>